Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to expand your online store's capabilities by integrating Shopify with WordPress? In this video, we will show you how to seamlessly integrate Shopify into your WordPress website, from installing the necessary plugins to synchronizing the both platforms. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So. First thing guys, I will need to open both your WordPress website and your Shopify account. Then go ahead into your WordPress website and check if there is any kind of plugins that are compatible or help you integrate Shopify with WordPress. So just click here and search for Shopify and check if you are going to find any. And this is it, WordPress Shopify. Display products from your Shopify store on your WordPress blog using short codes. So this is one of the plugins that will help you. So basically, I can't really tell what is the purpose of you connecting these both plugins or both platforms. So what is basically your goal? Either showing your products on your WordPress, showing your WordPress products into your Shopify, um, import Shopify to WooCommerce, migrate WooCommerce to Shopify. So there is a bunch of options, guys, that I can't really decide which one are you going for. So here you go. As you can see in front of you, there is a bunch of plugins that you can install on your WordPress account and you can integrate with them your WordPress with your Shopify store. The same thing goes for Shopify. You can simply go to your store and then as you can see here, there is a point which is over here, apps, so click on it. And then from here, you can simply click on more apps or you can click, for example, on um, WordPress. So you can search for WordPress here. Let me just translate WordPress and then click on enter. It will take you to this page and as you can see, here there is this WordPress Simple WordPress feed, an easy way to show WordPress posts on your store. So there is a bunch of options that you can go for. Here in the Shopify apps, you can use this plugin to show your WordPress website feed in your store. And in WordPress, these apps or plugins will help you to actually drag products from Shopify into your WooCommerce store or from your WordPress into Shopify. So there is a bunch of options. Also, there is another application that I really like to use, which is Zapier. So if I went to Zapier and I connect it to it, there is a bunch of options on this application. First, we have to connect a Zap. A zap is basically an automation that Zapier allows you to do. For example, if A happens to do X, then B will do Y. So something like that. Now, let's do that. For example, if WordPress, I'm going to choose here WordPress and here Shopify. Now we have connected these two. So now we have to do the trigger. We have to connect them in some kind of an action. So when WordPress, for example, we have a new post, then do this on Shopify. Create a blog entry, create product variant, and update customer, update inventory quantity, and much more. For example, if I went here, find customer, new user. So if a new user has been created on my WordPress website, then search for the same user in your Shopify customer list. So we can check if there are any kind of similarity, the same user is the same customer. So this is a thing that you can use as well as your automation for your actually Shopify and WordPress connections. And simply how we can make it work, you can simply click on try it. And then let's wait a little bit connect make sure to connect to your Shopify account so click here make sure to choose your account from here and then we go in with this one for example as you can see the auto expired please reconnect it here I'm going to do that it is pretty easy process guys all you need to do is simply connect your account for both your own Shopify store and your own uh, WordPress website so here I'm going to online store 
um, about the hours left in your trial so let's check the home page uh, we can add your first product so learn more about product let's check our products so they are active and here simply what you need to do guys is copy the link of your website so as you can see here I need to give them my Shopify store so I need to get my link so link I'm going to search for it here link your directs let's me just search for it uh, all right I can't really find it over here maybe stores yep over here so th these are my links so this is my URL so it is 8 F C 5 7 D so this is the link that I have to copy I'm going to copy it like that paste it over here yes continue and here I am now we just install the app which is up here on your Shopify store and it is as simple as that so now it is connected and now all we have to do next is test so let's test this out we are going to make an action so this action and there was an error we couldn't find any customer in my Shopify store since it is a new store there will be no customers so I'm going to add a customer here I'm going to name it X Y and save now let's start by trying this once more so let's try this this action and normally it's uh, one of the field name or email are required so we shall actually give uh, a give it an email so let me just do it again here we go we click on it we can here create order for it edit it whatever we want so let's add a new customer uh, x y in here any email we can do save all right let's make it gmail.com and let's repeat this so we can do it over here everything's good save and let's check this out so it's this action once more and now it shall be working all right it is still not working for me i don't know what is correct what is the correct way to do this but yeah anyway in case you had a real customer it will be working for you fantastically without any problems so you can even skip the test and it will be good for you as you can see and the same thing goes for WordPress you have to connect your account and then do a test and you can even skip the test and as long as you have here as you have in both those things uh, this mark which is the correct mark or excellent mark that means that you are good to go then all you have to do is click in here instead of fix to publish you will have publish click on it turn this on and then you will have your trigger every time someone creates a new user on your wordpress website something will happen or they will try to find the same customer on your shopify store and that's how you can compare if there is any similarity in your customers and in your in your users on your wordpress website so yeah guys these are the different steps on how you can connect Shopify with your WordPress website. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.